Hi, my name is Nick Carroll, and look what just arrived. I think we have some things to unbox. So briefly, I'll just uh, show you the box here for the Rosewill Redbone U3 computer case. Not a big deal. We're not going to unbox this necessarily. We're going to unbox what's inside, but this is what it, this case was shipped in. And uh, here's uh, the case that was inside the box. I'll go ahead and uh, give you a brief visual tour of it before I unbox everything else. It's actually really light, something I enjoy from the aluminum cases. It's not an expensive case, but it looks great. And also in the box is one instruction guide. And not a big deal if anyone's put together a PC before, all this is old hat to them. And here's a box featuring all the other components uh, of this build. Not a big deal. I just want to show you that everything that uh, ships uh, can fit in two boxes that will make this PC. And here's everything that comes inside the box. Um, I went ahead and removed all the package surrounding some of these items and kind of laid them out here. And uh, I'll open this up momentarily. Here we have all the components needed for this build. Let's go take a look at each one of them. Okay, this is the AMD A10 7850K Kaveri uh, APU. It's a 3.7 gigahertz uh, quad core and it's a, basically a combination CPU and GPU <laughs> built in together. This is the engine of this build. This is the G1 Sniper A88X gaming motherboard. It's made by a company named Gigabyte. I've bought from them before, particularly from Newegg. And uh, this was included in the bundle and it's uh, one of the higher spec uh, motherboards that I could have chose and uh, I think it'll go well in this build. And uh, what good is a motherboard and uh, processor without some RAM? <laughs> so here is a dual channel kit of 16 gigs of RAM. It's 2x8 and uh, it's made by a company named G-Skill. This is their Sniper Series RAM. It's DDR3 uh, rated for 1866 uh, megahertz, which is actually what I'm going to run this at. Uh, this is actually my sixth build that I've made with G skill RAM uh, in a row, the, the last computer that I owned, as well as the last two sets of <laughs> computers that my boys have owned, have all run G skill. And uh, as usual, I, I ordered this from Newegg, but uh, I enjoy it. I've never had a bad stick, and uh, that's fairly impressive consider, considering I've ordered a, a dozen or more <laughs> of these over the last three, four years. And good old Western Digital. This is the W10 EZEX Blue 1 terabyte hard drive. It runs at 7200 RPM, has 64 megs of cache, and is a SATA 6 drive. And let me see if I can get this a little closer on camera. But uh, I've used this for years, and uh, it's going to be a great uh, basis for storage on this build. This tends to be an optional component of uh, many builds today. It's generally a $20 part. This is a Samsung 24X DVD uh, reader and writer. This is the aforementioned Rosewheel Redbone U3 Black Mid Tower case. I'll get up and give you a little bit more of a tour. First, let me peel this off. No big deal there. But uh, here's the front of it right here. You see the two USB ports? and an eSATA port, that's pretty cool, and then audio out. What else does it have? Here's the power button, and here's the reset button. That's pretty snazzy. Now let's take a look at this side here. You can see it's got uh, positions for the uh, fans here, I think 120 or 140 millimeter fans. Then in the back here you have another fan, this comes with it. You'll see here there's one fan already and a slot for another fan. That's enough to start out. Here's that second fan. Here's the uh, grommets for uh, water cooling. Here's that. 
here's of course the uh, the bag of screws and then something I like is this comes with these uh, screws <laughs> I don't know what you call them but you use your hands and you don't need a screwdriver to undo those of course this side and then back again okay now let's pull uh, this unscrewed uh, both sides so I'm going to go ahead and remove each side there one thing I like about this is even though I turn around here it's also black here I've seen some cases where they kind of scrimp on that end of things so and here's where the, on the other side of this will be where the motherboard is at but that that's pretty convenient now let me go ahead and turn this around and we're going to go ahead and pull this off that's pretty convenient then here of course is the other fan 120 millimeter fan so I'll go ahead and remove that right now and then here is the interior of the case including here's the screws that, and other items that typically go in one of these and here's of course the drive cages here's your typical inputs and outputs well, this is for the LED lights and everything here's a SATA connector for here yeah it's pretty nice and uh, something I wanted to show you that I forgot a moment ago but you see this section right here that is an air filter it's actually removable and so that actually helps a little bit with airflow so you see these standoffs right there these uh, legs here they help to elevate uh, the unit a little bit and that combined with the air filter gives this case a little bit more airflow which is nice and last but not least with regard to the hardware part of this build this is a Silverstone SFX form factor uh, 300 watt power supply this is actually 80 plus bronze certified and this will do just fine for this build so the reason I decided to go for this specific AMD build from Newegg was I was aware from watching videos and reading articles online that AMD was enticing people to buy their new APU uh, by offering Battlefield 4 for free so I did some research ended up going to the AMD website and uh, they basically listed uh, bundles sold by various uh, companies and uh, I of course went with Newegg because I've, I've been with them for now I think this is the 11th year in a row I've ordered exclusively from them and uh, so I basically uh, saw a few of their four different uh, Kaveri PC builds and uh, two of them were with this specific A10 7850K AP APU and uh, so between the two choices I chose this one because I felt it had a better summary of parts so uh, that's basically it and for that limited time I was able to uh, swing this entire build for just under $600 500 and 80 plus dollars I think I'll have it listed in my in my description but uh, that bundles now over but at the time that I ordered I slipped in just in time so anyways this is basically a redeemable offer for the game and uh, which I'll get for free and start playing immediately after I get this uh, build assembled but uh, they also offered free a $20 value some dog tags so I'm I'll see if I can show that to you there's two dog tags and they're dual sided so I'll show this that's kind of cool a lot of people don't really know what they just say oh dog tags but they don't have any idea as to what's on it so I figure I might as well show you so here's the other dog tag and you'll notice that it has different stuff on that too so that's, that's pretty cool and of course here's your typical you know chain so that's basically I wanted to give you kind of an idea as to why I chose this bundle and these two items the offer and the dog tags kind of represent what solidified this bundle for me and the fact that everything came at just under the price that I was looking for I was looking to spend between six and seven hundred dollars for a bundle for the for something very similar to this and that's what works so anyways guys I'm gonna wrap this uh, video up stay tuned for the next video which I'll actually put this whole thing together thank you very much for watching and have a great day